Welcome to the Expert Forex video on US FX trading regulations. This is the first in a series of videos for US traders using Expert Forex EAs and trading tools. This video series will discuss US FX trading regulations, that is, this video. US Spot FX Brokers, Expert Forex EAs and US Brokers, Offshore Spot FX Brokers, Funding and Withdrawing from Offshore Brokers. Before we get to subject matter, let's review this important risk disclaimer. Futures, options, and currency trading all have large potential rewards but they also have large potential risk. You must be aware of the risks and willing to accept them in order to invest in these markets. Don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. This is neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell futures, options, or currencies. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profits or losses similar to those discussed in these videos. The past performance of any trading system or methodology is not necessarily indicative of future results. Now, let's discuss the US FX trading environment. As a US trader, I have the following restrictions. Leverage is capped at 50 to 1. First in, first out, that is FIFO, is required. Hedging is prohibited. CFDs, that is contracts for difference, are prohibited. Margin requirements range from 2% to 12%. Though not germane to spot FX, we sometimes get questions about binary options and related products. So I'm going to address these today. Binary options and bracket trading are legal in the United States through regulated brokers. They can be traded through any options approved brokerage account. Nadex, a subsidiary of the IG group, specializes in binary options as well as touch brackets and call spreads. Binary options trading is mainly manual, though there are a few broker-specific EAs. These EAs can be quite costly. Costs range from $520 to $1,800 from what I've seen. Expert Forex does not currently manufacture EAs for trading binary options or executing bracket trades. Now we are going to discuss EA trading with US FX brokers. Our third video will be dedicated specifically to trading Expert Forex EAs with US brokers. The following discussion centers on what you should look for in any EA if you are trading with US brokers. If you are EA trading with US FX brokers, look for EAs that trade in this way. One trade at a time per currency pair or with a FIFO setting. Low volume, low frequency trading style, e.g day or swing trading. High volume, high frequency trading is okay if one trade at a time is open per pair. No hedging or the EA must have the ability to turn hedging off. Avoid EAs that trade multiple deals of the same lot size without a FIFO setting. Systems that open more than five trades at once can rapidly deplete your entire margin. When EA trading US FX brokers, also avoid high volume, high frequency systems that leave multiple open trades. 
these can deplete your entire margin. EAs that specifically require leverages higher than 50 to 1. Purpose-built hedging systems. Now, here are some tips for trading in the U.S. Do not exceed 2% risk per trade. Do not open more than three trades at 2%. Do not open more than six trades at 1%. Cease trading and go back to demo if account losses reach 10%. Correct risk and money management apply anywhere you trade. Here are some more tips for trading in the United States. Large lot sizes require significant margin. Do ensure that your EAs are US compliant. Do stick with pairs that have low spreads and low margin requirements. Now, let's discuss currency correlations and how they work for you as a US trader. You can find currency correlations at sources like FX Blue, MyFXBook, Mataf, etc. If you trade the same direction on negatively correlated pairs, you'll form a pseudo hedge. Currency correlations change. Check. Don't assume. We use currency correlations in two key ways. First, we use currency correlations to form pseudo hedges. Second, we use them to avoid doubling down on risk. Here's an example. Long the euro dollar and long the Swissy, or short both. By shorting the US dollar in the euro pair and longing the US dollar in the Swissy pair, you formed a pseudo hedge on the US dollar. You would not trade both the Australian and the New Zealand dollar versus the United States dollar because their correlation makes them the same trade. You're also doubling your exposure to the United States dollar by trading both pairs. In the United States, you can hedge by using two accounts. If you feel compelled to hedge, divide your trading capital between two accounts. Trade longs only in one account and shorts only in the other for the same pairs. This is legal because the action is not being taken on a single account. In closing, this video introduced you to the key regulations affecting spot FX trading with U.S. brokers. Our next video will specifically discuss brokers available in the United States. Thank you for watching.